Give me out of that bitch. Hey, what's up, everybody? Rage Cage 20 here. And we're back with a new album, technically. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, for the channel, new album. Uh, this is With Him Temptation, a band that I found back in college. I uh, don't remember how. I think it was during a phase when I found uh, I found the Agonist and I found someone else. Can't remember. And I was like, I want to go look up a bunch of different symphonic metal-ish bands, even though this has been apparently, from what Wikipedia says, this this band has been classified as gothic metal and symphonic metal. So, but it also has different influences from other genres and different albums. Blah 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 blah, etc. Um, but I was, uh, you know, on a kick to find a bunch of different symphonic metal bands and whatnot. That's how I found uh, Nemesia, Crypteria, Rhythm Temptation, and some others. Um, I think Dark Moor as well. I think that's how I found Dark Moor as well. So I think this is, I just randomly found it because it's like, I just want to find more symphonic metal stuff. And here we are. Um, now, I've listened to quite a handful of With Him Temptation songs. I would say maybe somewhere between six to eight, maybe six to ten uh, With Him Temptation songs. And I found out that uh, most of them, all except for one, as I kind of mentioned at the end of the Evanescence little quarter albums I did. But you might not watch this. Uh, all of them except for one were from this album. So I was just like, okay, well, let's finish this album. And I thought that that would be longer than it actually was. And then I realized there's only five songs I haven't listened to in this album. So I was just like, oh, okay, this is so it's going to be like a quarter to a half album here. The only song that I've listened to, uh, no surprise. Uh, if you know all of Within Temptation's very popular songs, the only other song I've listened to besides that's out of this album is Angels on its other album. Uh, so we're going to finish off this album today. Um, I think I've heard The Heart of Everything before, but I'm pretty sure it was once, and literally the only thing that I can remember is the way she says The Heart of Everything. Um uh, so yeah, we are on. I gotta bring up the lyrics here. We are on the heart of everything. In the heart of everything album, which is in the middle of the album here, it's like the fifth song in the album. Very interesting, very very interesting. All right, so I gotta make sure I don't crash my entire computer. Make sure I retouch the screen. Uh, oh fuck, I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> It's it's a complicated system I got going on here. Don't you worry, pretty low heads, about it. So, I don't know much about Within Temptation, really. I just know the lead singer Sharon is amazing, uh, and that's it's about it. She has a great, uh, great singing voice, amazing operatic singing voice to her, um, and it's badass. She likes to put some hard, heavy stuff in the music as well. Definitely, they got a good taste, good blend between the symphonic and the metal. So I am happy and excited to get into this album and listen to the few songs that I have not listened to yet because I've liked every single song from them I've heard so far. There hasn't been any that's like, nah. So I assume it continues. I want to finish out this album, then we can move on to albums I haven't heard, which is all of them. Um, so this is our starting point. Let's not waste any more time with him temptation the heart of everything on the heart of everything album which by the way really cool album art i don't know where she got that like that little lace thing from but i kind of want that because it looks badass but like black or something mysterious looking i don't know and of course it also looks very uncomfortable but i want to know anyways <laughs> Uh, f f let's let's get into it. I was gonna say five thirty four, but it's like I don't need to talk about how long the song is. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I allowed or not?
Ah, <clears throat> so uh, something may have been obvious there if you were if your peepers were paying attention. Uh, <laughs> sure, there's a moments even though my camera when it's down there is usually like maybe uh, let's say between point five to one second off. Uh, Maybe I'd say, I'd say, yeah, closer to one second off. Uh, you probably could still tell <laughs> that my I was prepping, like, either head nods or what have you. Some way visibly prepping certain events that are about to happen. And I'm sure some of you are like, I know he's definitely, like, he, he knows what's coming. He, he's, he, he's heard this song for sure, I think, more than once. Uh, it was uh, it, it it was one of those things to like when I when I heard it starting, it's like okay, you know, I definitely, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I I've I've, I've listened to this song, I I think it might have been more than once, but not I don't think more than three to five times, if I'm being honest with you, um, it has not been very often. I have heard the song before, however, it wasn't one of those just like oh yeah, the second I heard the first note, it's just like oh I remember all of it. It was just like. Things were coming back to me like a like a second or two before it happens. Like, oh wait, yeah, I remember that now. And so I was I was kind of relearning it as I was going through. It wasn't a it wasn't an evanescence. Like I heard the first note, I was like, oh fuck, you yeah, know, I know this whole fucking song. <laughs> I know exactly what's gonna happen. So you know, it was, it was still pretty fresh. But again, just like uh, evanescence, I've never actually deep deconstructed this song and and really taking apart what I like about it and what, you know, the little elements that they got going on here. So that's still new and fresh to me, uh, for sure, even though the song was familiar, for sure. 
But a lot of it was coming back to me after I was hearing it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that part. So it was kind of cool. I kind of enjoyed that, actually. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> apologies, my voice is not uh, up to par and cracks at certain points. Uh, I think I have uh, yesterday and the day before, I'm pretty sure I recorded five plus hours a piece per day. So I think we're on like 10 to 12 hours of uh, between 10 to 12 hours recording over the last three days. So <laughs> my voice is feeling it. Because I haven't really recorded this much recently, but I've just gotten into a recording kick. I've been productive, so I'm getting you stuff of reactions and other stuff. Just getting it done for you. So it's taking a little bit of a toll on my voice. You might hear it. I apologize. But the good news is that uh, <clears throat> I'll have videos for you and whatnot, and I'm doing all right. It's just, uh, it's just my voice is a little strained. It might crack in every now and then, but that's why I'm keeping it liquidated. So I might be drinking a lot, just so you know. Let's get back into this bitch, because there was some, there was some shit. There was some good fucking shit up in this bitch. And I want to hear it again. Fresca. Um, so as I said, man, chair and this girl you see. Whoa, I'm going the wrong direction. I can go easier for me. There we go. That girl you see over there. <laughs> I just started going back this way. Um, just a boss. Like, her voice is amazing. The things she can do is amazing. I mean, it's, it's pretty on par with other, you know, symphonic legends. Uh, male and female, but female focus here. Uh, like Simone Simmons, Tarja. A net floor like it's pretty on point with what you would expect from this genre but it's just like that doesn't den deny the fact that it's still impressive that these people can do this like don't take that for granted like this is not easy singing like for sure that really like high operatic neutral syllable stuff she was doing in there like with all that vibrato and everything like that takes training like that's not easy you don't just wake up one morning and just like look at what i can do and if you can, then you're going to be a fucking star. I go rake in that money. Because this usually takes a lot of practice and effort and training. And yeah, so this is this is good shit right here. Uh, the beginning here, all before around one minute, just knock, 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 out a row here. We've got uh, a timpani. There's some awesome timpani rolls in there. I always love a good timpani. Uh... And I, I just enjoy that instrument. I really loved it when I played that instrument, and uh, for for a couple months, uh, while I was waiting for my euphonium to come in back in high school, I played the timpani, and it was fucking awesome. Um, <sighs> I, I really enjoy the timpani, so I like it when it comes in because it sounds fucking cool. And then the open vowel singing, her uh, O's and Ahs going on in there, very cool. Uh, uh, the uh, the chunky guitar chords in there. There's some fucking sick guitar riffs going on. I thought that was pretty fucking awesome. And the drums were pretty fucking solid too. Lots of awesome uh, instrumental shit going on here, as well as her beautiful operatic singing in the background. Just really great opener here. It's very uh, like mysterious and very cool. Even starts out kind of remind me of like a Camelot song, like. Uh, Maybe a little bit, uh, Lost and Damned. Do you, oh, sorry. <laughs> I distracted. I distracted. I was thinking about Camelot songs. We missed that timpani roll into her singing. I forgot that happened so early. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's, 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 yeah, the singing is very smooth, it's very beautiful, uh, it's very legato, it's all very connected, she's just letting the, uh, the change in intervals kind of cause the, uh, uh, cause kind of like a downbeat of sound, even though it's all connected, all, all slurred together, it's, uh, it's just, it's very, very 
beautiful, smooth, and open and round, and just nice. And now we've got the other instruments coming in here. Love that dun 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 dun. Just some nice chunked out chords there. Great shit. Those drums just hitting all them fucking toms. Just really filling it out here. Just, just very beautiful right there. Yeah. I love all those little dum dum. Like there's just a little, a little segment in between all the the extra notes. Just keeps coming back to the dum dum, and then goes on to other stuff. Dum dum. Just keeps coming back to that strong downbeat. Beautiful, beautiful shit here. Um, one minute in, uh, approximately around one minute when uh, Sharon comes in and starts singing some, some lyrics. Um, I, I thought there was some really cool effects that they put on her vocals, but on top of the production effects that they put on her, uh, she was also, it sounded like, felt, it sounded like she was kind of like straining her voice when she was singing. She was putting in that extra like strained emotion on there, just kind of like filled with sorrow, uh, which is, uh, you know, fitting as the first words are for the pain and the sorrow caused by my mistakes. You know, you could, she's putting in that emotion while saying those words, and it just it, it, you could just hear just like just that that strain and just pain in the vocal line, which I think is fantabulous. For the pain and the sorrow. That that just that grain in the sound on when on that hell note, which is mistakes. Like ah, oh, listen to that. You can just hear the just ugh oh, in there. Uh, yeah, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful there. I just, I just, I love when someone's willing to put in that extra emotion to really sell the song. You know what I mean? Um, and it's just, it's top notch. It's top notch for sure. Around one thirty-five, we're gonna go to one forty. Um, I forgot about this until I heard it. I was like, oh yeah, um, that 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 growl that they just kind of lace in here every now and then. But it first comes out here when say open up your eyes like the right the the pick up into the chorus. Um, I just you could just hear this like growl saying it with her underneath. Very nice touch. Listen for that. Open up your eyes, save your... As hard to hear it. <laughs> I was listening for. I was like I can hear it. But I could honestly, I could see how that would be easily missed. Like you might want to, if I get if you don't have headphones on, I put headphones on. Turn up the volume, and apologies for any ear damage. But listen, to the very bottom of the ears here, you can just hear this almost like gargled, like demonic sounding growl slash scream going on there. That's pretty impressive, honestly. It it sounds more liquidy than what I can do. I I, <laughs> I hate trying to go for vocal effects because if I fuck it up, it's like, well, yeah, except for good. <laughs> um, and it hurts to do that. Oh, I don't know if my throat can do this voice right now. But it's kind of like this, kind of that voice, but like even more kind of liquidy and gurgly underneath it. It just, it sounds demonic as fuck. It's very cool. Open up your eyes. Save your that is, that is nice. And it keeps coming back in every now and then. I don't think it always sounds necessarily like that, but then again, I wasn't really focusing on it, so maybe it does. Uh, but yeah, very nice there. Uh, press rhythm. So we're going to let it keep rolling. Because there's something the rhythm I think it was the guitars. 
uh, that I was listening to here. So. I like that just kind of going on there. It changed it's changed up a little bit, but just I really like I just like the riff that the guitar is playing underneath everything is is really, really, really fucking cool. Um one fifty five, so we're just gonna let it keep rolling now. Uh, I said growl rhythm. So not only the growl that comes back in, but also the rhythm of it. I'm intrigued. I think I know what I'm talking about, but I can't really remember. So let's 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 find out together, I guess. So you can hear that. I assume you can hear it. That one's pretty uh, pretty easy to hear, as there's nothing else really blocking it. It's kind of on top of everything else. Uh, that one's more airy, uh, more whispery than uh, deep fucking Aladdin uh, Cave of Wonders voice, as I like to call it. Uh, yeah, that one's more airy and stuff. But it almost sounds like it like it, it's going a little bit in line with the riff that the guitar is doing. But it also sounds almost like it's being wrapped. Uh, uh, let's, let's, uh, let me hear that again. Yeah, it sounds like it's broken up. And again, kind of following the rhythm that the guitar is doing. But there's a few note, a few, a few. I feel like there's a few rhythms in there that that continues after the guitar kind of stops. It goes to something else. Very cool. It's almost like it's almost like rap like screaming, which is cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, uh, two around two forty five. Uh, there was some extra notes, uh, extra notes and or embellishment at the end of. Uh, I, I think she does this every time. I just uh, I heard it the first time in the chorus, which she says, "Don't let it go." Um, but uh, they were the hair the second time. I was like, yeah, I would like to bring that up. So I brought it down for the second time here, even though it happened the first time. I believe the same way, but I'm not 100% positive. But the, I like the extra little dia kind of extra notes that she adds in the end of Let It Don't Let It Go. Da. Very nice. I just like that little inflection, little embellishment at the end of that. That's very beautiful. Uh, three twenty-five. When she says, "Open up your eyes," again. No. <laughs> Am I? Re oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would you, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like, "That's about to happen now." Not in twenty-five seconds. What? Uh, I said, "Open eyes," growl. I think I put a Y in there? Growly? I don't know why I did, but growl, yeah. Uh, so on 325, we'll just give it a little push here at the into the chorus. Uh, yeah, when they go back, when they come back to the open your eyes, when, I think it's the part, I think we're talking about the part where it happens three times. I think the first intro into that, there was this cool growl effect that happened in there. Oh, no. Right. Uh, I mean, maybe something happens with that as well. Uh, but no, that one's hard to hear. And I caught that, but that one's hard to hear. It sounds like the growl is saying, uh, open up your eyes. Because uh, this it, it, is this very quiet at the, the bottom here, I believe. That's where I heard it, somewhere down at the bottom here. I think only in this ear, but it could have been both. Um, you just you just hear this kind of sc that scream that sounds to me like saying "Open up your eyes." 
uh, or whoever's screaming it says open up your eyes uh, and it almost sounds like desperate and like like a plead or something it's, it's, it's fascinating let's see let's see if we can find that yeah a little bit here a little bit down here it's quick it's quick it just kind of like uh, kind of like down here this is weird listen for that okay. also sounds like there's a whimper or a cry in there too interesting <laughs> just, just a little thing i caught there at the very bottom so faint almost unhearable but still catchable fascinating all right, uh, around 3:55. Oh yeah, pretty much. I, I should. This is one I, I should have just wrote everything, because it's just every little thing that was happening in there I wanted to talk about. But uh, I said all the backgrounds and the vocals and the, and the instruments and should have said everything. So let's let's listen to everything. Yeah, uh, so first we have the guitar that uh, not only do we have the guitar just doing that awesome, just kind of this awesome driving constant eighth note rhythm, um, but also you have those little like, what sounds almost like sweet picking lines in it, kind of stuff going on in there, which is fucking cool. Of course, her just, just free soloing over all of it is just beautiful as well and of course you have those literal what sounds like a mixture between keyboard and like background vocal choir just kind of the da 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 just kind of these little hits and little stuff in there just a, a lot of writing is going on in here Beautiful little passage there. I like that. Uh, Four fifteen. <laughs> uh, I said, panning. It really sounded like whatever was happening. I can't remember if it was a vocal line or a guitar line. I think it was one of the two. Just started like moving around the ears a little bit. Uh, let's find out. Yep, the guitar line. as so cool again you have to be wearing headphones for that uh, but I'll try, I'll try to to motion where I can hear things happening there okay it's so weird it like starts kind of in one ear but you can also kind of hear it pushing like right around here and then it like moves completely to this ear but then it moves like back to this side so interesting oh that's really cool <laughs> and the last thing we got here to end it all out around 450 uh voice doubling uh, I, can, I can hear her in there uh she's got some production stuff going on in her vocals but just kind of like she's singing this she's not uh, the lead line singing is kind of really high but there's just kind of this like like staying on the same around the same note space maybe the same note the same two or three notes just going right through the middle of everything Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's cool. 
Um, it's very da 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 like very very middle kind of staying around the same within the same three to four note interval just it's interesting Yeah, I just like that harmony in there. It's very quiet. You, like, your ears can tell what's happening, but, like, if you have to kind of search for it to really pick out the, 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 the harmony in there. That's kind of... That's pretty fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. All right. So, I promise. <laughs> I have not heard these other songs. Not even once. This I know for truth. <laughs> Uh, next we have Final Destination. I have not heard the song at all. <laughs> I promise you that I have not heard this song. Um, so uh, it sounds epic. Like it sounds, you know, just thinking about that movie. So kind of sounds pretty epic. We're just from the title alone. So I'm excited to get into that. Let me know what you think about this song. Is there anything I missed? I'd love to hear these little intricacies and little things that happen here. It's a pretty impressive song. So, thank you for joining me, and I will see you all next time.